Hello, my name is Erica Lee and I'm with the California Legislative Analyst Office. We've recently released a report entitled Consolidating California's Statewide Automated Welfare Systems. The California Statewide Automated Welfare System, or SAWS as it's also known, is actually made up of multiple systems which support functions such as eligibility determination, enrollment, statistical reporting at the county level for such programs as Medi-Cal, CalWORKs, and CalFresh. These systems are a sizable financial obligation to the state. They've cost hundreds of millions of dollars to develop and tens of millions of dollars every year to maintain. Over the years, the legislature has worked to reduce the number of systems to reduce the cost to the state and also to help standardize operations at the county level for health and human services programs. Currently, there are three systems that support all the 58 counties. 39 counties utilize the Consortium 4 system, also known as C4. These counties are represented in yellow. 18 counties utilize the CalWORKs information system, also known as CalWIN, and are represented in green on the map. Finally, Los Angeles County has its own system, known as LEADER, represented in purple on the map. Recently, the legislature enacted legislation that will actually reduce the total number of SAW systems from three down to two. And they stated how they want this done. They want to move the 39 counties that are currently utilizing the C4 system to a newly developed system for Los Angeles County. Together, that new system with Calwin would be the remaining two systems making up SAWs. While we agree that a move to fewer systems is a good one for the aforementioned reasons, the legislature should consider some issues that would be raised as the administration goes forward pursuing legislative goals of consolidation. Legislation doesn't require that the administration should conduct an analysis of the alternatives for a migration. The administration's current plans are to go forward and amend the current contract with the vendor who is poised to build the new LA County system. Without an analysis, there is no baseline information as to what the state would have to pay for a migration and we would have little leverage during a negotiation with the vendor. This option also seems to close the door on other vendors competing for the work which would reduce competition and possibly increase the cost to the state for the migration work. To better control for the costs of a migration, the state may want to consider alternative procurement approaches. One option would be to actually conduct a whole new procurement for the migration effort. This would invite other vendors to come and compete for that work. A second option would be to break the procurement into several different service contracts so that vendors can compete for each of those. Again, both options would create a more competitive environment and hopefully reduce the cost to the state for the overall migration effort. Consolidating the SAW systems will be a major undertaking and will require a lot of thought and consideration. Therefore, the legislature should recommend the administration conduct an analysis of the feasible alternatives for migration, including the two just mentioned, among many others. This seems to be a good place to start to pursue the legislative goals for consolidation of the SAW systems. Thank you for watching. For more information, please see our website and the report entitled Consolidating California's Statewide Automated Welfare System.